Hey everyone, it's Ryan the War Boss coming at you with another WOG! And today's WOG, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over a commission paint job I have to do, as long as some other minis are gonna get done too. This is how I keep moving forward quickly. So today, the commission paint job is the collector's edition of D&D's miniature. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the thing is called, even though I have the box. Uh, Luli, oh no. Lulu the Hollyphant. Which, if I pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. But I'm doing this one for a friend, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy primed. I put them together the other day. I built my special base for painting, and I'm just gonna plug it right into him for right now and go to town. Obviously, you can't tip this thing too much, but uh, yeah, so this is just for the airbrushing part, anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and get him done and go from there. So, once again, I'm going to be priming with my airbrush. I've got my trusty dusty thing here. I'm hoping that I can get this to work. So let's get to it. All right, now with the vent going and that done, I can go ahead into the next part, which is actually starting to hit the base and stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and get that started. The color scheme that this person has picked today is a purple and gold type of color with blue eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. After this dries a little bit, I will be back and we'll go from there. All right, welcome back. Now that the air is cleared and uh, the model's primed, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting it with this. I accidentally started already and didn't realize the camera wasn't on, so that's fine with me there. Uh, it's all fixed, I changed the battery, everything's good. Um, so we can go ahead and get to this now. So as I did, so now that it's on the base, pick it up, just keep on going, give it nice, you know, watered down layers, nice gold shine to it. Keep going. I'm gonna have to do more than one coat of this uh, just because I thinned it down quite a bit, which is fine, I don't mind. Gives it more of a realistic kind of look to it. Gets a nice undercoat and then I can get an overcoat, you know? Makes it work. See, I'm still using the painting posture techniques that I mentioned to you guys in the last video. Or I should say a few videos ago, since the last video was actually bright priming, which is something I used in this video. As you can see, I, I continue to use my same techniques and tricks just to keep consistency with my paintings and everything like that. Alright, so this model's being a little difficult, which it just separated from the base that it was on. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up what I'm doing, which is just this coat, then I'm going to let it correctly pull it off its base, rebase it, and come back to it. Because unfortunately, in this condition, it's more of a risk than anything else for me to actually go ahead and uh, paint this. Oh, jeez. Right, 
we'll give that a little bit to dry. So what I've done so far is I've gone ahead and just hit it with the gold. Um, it looks pretty decent for right now. It needs another coat. Um, there are some spots that didn't necessarily do what I wanted them to, so I'm going to clean them up right now. Real quick. Just to kind of... Yeah, this is pain in the ass with this color. Nothing. Oh, all right. Let's take a quick break. Let that dry a little bit more. We'll go from there. So, basically, I started off with the biggest color, which is gold. Um, and then I've got to go ahead and kind of do the wings which I'm going to do white with uh, some purple and then I'm going to do some purple for the feet and some blue eyes which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I got different colors of that and we'll, we'll go into that once we get there but for right now um, that's all it says so we're going to take a little break. Alright it seems to be much better now in the the paint is dried, so let's go ahead and give this another shot and see what happens. Alrighty, as you can see I'm hitting from different angles now to make sure I get everything that we need to get covered with gold. This will work a little bit better when we do the wash too. I'm filling recesses with dark spots and make it look like he actually has some nice gold glitter to him. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the wings and give them a coat of white. Liquid white. Just in case. Now what I'm doing here is remixing the white paint because unfortunately it's been sitting for a while. I haven't really done too much on the painting desk until now.
So now we're gonna do the wash. And there's two different colors I'm gonna use. <clears throat> so, gonna go over the wings with this, give it a nice dark coat, and then hit it with a highlight. Now this is a, a step that I'm doing to make these wings look really cool um, because I'm going to hit it with another white coat and then I'm going to hit it with a purple mixed white coat because the way the person wants it and that's the way the person gets it the way they like. And if you're wondering, the white coat on the end of this is going to be a highlight with a dry brush. It's not going to be another wet coat, but the purple coat I'm about to do is going to be and then I'll do the next step of the wash for the elephant himself and then the dry brush over that to make it look all nice. Nice and bright and colorful. Okay, now the wings are getting darker, which is good. I want to see all that deep recess there. I want to see Giving this mini a little bit more greedy characteristic. It is going to be a anniversary, so to speak. That's why this person bought an anniversary model. And it's that. Now, wings are nice and dark. We'll let that dry for a second and go over here. And I like to use a, ah, we need a small brush. Okay. okay. A smaller brush, and I want to just use a little bit of it and get it into these crevices around the eye. whole purpose I'm doing this is to not get the eyeball itself. I just want to make it look like there's a dark recess around the eyes. Alrighty. All right, for a dry brush, what I do um, is like, there it is. I grab one of these, and I just kind of show I want a dry brush in it. And I got a tape towel here, paper towel for that. This is all right now. Go ahead, just get some of that on the brush right there. Let me go over here. Keep it on just enough to when I know. Yep, I know I just dipped my dry brush in water because unfortunately that's not going to work with purple paint on it. Let me go ahead and get that other towel right here. Sorry, this was the one I was supposed to have. Okay, so as you can see, now I'm going to go ahead and use the dry brush again. And go ahead and get that. Right, so now I'm going to get it. I'm just going to dry brush over the tips of this. So they look a little brighter. Got more. Again, do it till there's almost nothing left. Then go down on this.
Now, that's good for the dry brush. Don't need to go too crazy with that. Of course, I just did. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. And touch up anything I might have messed up on. Which there was one or two small parts. Get my fine detail brush. Alrighty. Now to the next washing state, which again is just to make this give it a little detail in the crevices that it has and make the tusk look a little more realistic in my opinion. And the next color we're going to use is Reichland Flesh Shirk? Flesh Shape. Sorry, Flesh Shape. Reichland Fresh. Flesh, uh, tongue tight. Reichland Fresh. Tongue tight. Reichland Flesh Shaped. <laughs> and that's that one. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna try to get this to stay on the stand where I do this next part. size brush for this, which is this one right here. I should say a layered brush, just because this one is going to be a little more spread out, because it's supposed to help out make this gold look really good. Again, this was commissioned for a friend, so I'm hoping that uh, my friend enjoys this and gets to use it in their D&D &D game coming up that they were hosting, so power to you, my friend. Uh, their name is Liz the Bard, so I'll put a link in the description below to her Twitch page if she wants me to. This is her miniature that you use when she streams. Well, not necessarily streams, but I'm going to go ahead and get you guys some close-up shots on that. And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Makes it nice. And good. Bingo. Okay. All right, and that concludes the, you know, painting for this. Once again, this is Ryan the War Boss. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe in the, you know, links below. Uh, I will have all the colors that I used uh, below in the description, as well as the link for my friend who owns this. And that's going to conclude this video, so signing off with another WOG.